so so let me start by just you know saying making the case which I think is <clears throat> unnecessary to make in this group but I want to continue for us to emphasize it that affordable public higher education is a public good that it is it, it, it is a driver of economic prosperity in Pennsylvania that we are routinely through public higher education addressing skill shortages in high demand fields in stem H but obviously in many others right um, producing lifelong learners who are resilient that's important because the expectation is that the students that graduate from our universities and I know that you know this so but I'm going to tell it to you anyway are expected to change jobs frequently throughout their careers the, the, the 21st century career doesn't look like the one that many of us went embarked upon right and that means that our students have to understand how to learn and relearn continuously throughout their lives and that's what we do in these in our universities um, our universities support a resurgence of the rural economies of this state right which is largely a rural state um, and we will expand on the economic multiplier effect that we already offer it's currently eleven dollars for every dollar the state invests or something like six point seven billion dollars a year in economic impact um, social mobility is something also that public higher education does college educated people earn significantly more than those who simply graduate with a high school diploma right but it's not just about earnings right is it both educational attainment tracks directly with things like exposure to unemployment less exposure exposure to unemployment better health outcomes contribute more to Pennsylvania in terms of taxes um, investment in public higher education is an investment in the future of the state and the Pennsylvania state system the next slide um, investment in the Pennsylvania state system is the public university system of the state of Pennsylvania it's a sensible investment it's where our students go nearly a hundred thousand right that's where they are we're not a startup it's the most affordable higher education option in the state between six and eight and ten thousand dollars less per degree per four-year degree than any other public or public or public related institution we primarily serve middle and low income students from all communities across all of Pennsylvania more than 80 percent of our students are solidly drawn from low and middle income communities we have 10,000 very talented faculty and staff in universities that are deeply rooted and often the number one employers in their communities we produce 26,000 career ready graduates every year 95 percent of them are employed within a couple years of their graduation 88 percent of them in their field of study and 72 percent of them stay and live and work in Pennsylvania <coughs> That is the that is the state system that is the state system's university's contribution to this economy where we're moving and to this society where we're moving in the next slide and we know this through the work we're doing on creating a kind of outcomes oriented approach to strategy planning and budgeting and accountability is to be able clearly to articulate these outcomes right in terms that everybody can understand including our colleagues in the general assembly Right? Improving student success is about ensuring that for high school leavers, they get in, whether from high school or from a college, community college transfer, they get out and they get a reasonable launch on a successful life. Right? If we're looking at adults, they're able to come into the university for upskilling or reskilling, efficiently engage with their education while many of them have busy family and, 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 and working lives. Right? And to continue to be able to do this is the most affordable quality post-secondary option and, and within the next several months there will be numbers against these goals this is beginning to develop as an investment case for the Pennsylvania state system not one that we can just say but we can point to our progress in contributing in positive definable tangible ways to the health and well-being of this commonwealth proving student success securing financial stability we will have you know clear understanding of our universities operating maximum efficiency being transparent and accountable and while we're doing all this we're also over the course of the next few years laying a track for a sustainable future because university education into the 21st century is looking different than it has been even over the past few decades right engaging more with workforce aligned kind of credentialing program um, engaging even more with trying to develop alternative re revenue streams 
engaging even more effectively with high schools and community colleges who give us our students and the employers who take them after they graduate. Attracting and retaining faculty and staff. My expectation is that this slide, not next time you see it in October, but certainly in January, will have multi-year goals that we can speak to so that as we make decisions about tuition, about allocation of public funding, about budget asks to the state, we're making them against our understanding where we're going and with the ability to assess our progress in those directions. But we cannot do this by ourselves. Public higher education is a public good. It contributes in tangible ways to the health and well-being of this commonwealth. And public education is developed in partnership with the commonwealth through the General Assembly. So we have committed ourselves to making progress in several areas, tangible progress. And we'll touch on each of these areas, or most of these areas today, representative of that pro progress. Maintaining student affordability, aligning our, we're talking about tuition, aligning costs with revenues, talking about financial sustainability policy later today. Addressing the challenges faced by low enrolled universities, financial sustainability problem, policy addresses that directly. Aligning budgets with measurable goals. We'll talk in the governance committee about our progress in strengthening our governance and accountability. Right? Strengthening individual and institutional accountabilities, making sure that they're aligned to concrete goals that deliver to the people of this commonwealth and to our students. Right? And concretely identifying the benefits of public education and that public education is developed by the Pennsylvania state system. To have that in hand by the opening of the next legislative session. And because this is, in a part, is a partnership, we will engage the legislature around three mission critical issues as part of this partnership, right? right? Being able to go forward and say, we've got this. We're delivering in these areas. We heard you. These are questions that you have been asking of us for some time, and we are being responsible. 